All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're back at it in the garage. Well, technically not in the garage or outside. So, um, as I had in the last video, cab is all painted with the blue and the orange. Got to do the front bumper yet? Still not sure what I'm doing with that. So, anyway, the big thing for today is that it's time for the bed to get painted and stuff. So. Um, all of my grinding on my welds is all done for the bed section and stuff that I did and my awesome fender flares. So now I'm just hitting off the, as in like my way beginning videos, this whatever in God's name this white is that's on here that, like I said, takes like 60 grit to, to get off. Uh, Got to get that off and then I'll start um, doing some body stuff on the seams and the other welding spots. So, um, bed is all welded up as well too. Doesn't sound like I'm driving around with a stack of loose metal in the back anymore. Still some noise, but nowhere near what it was before of the banging and changling and clanging and stuff when you drive around. Cause I got all the <clears throat> seams all welded or spots tacked and stuff like that too. So still not hundred percent sure on the bed floor, what I'm going to do, if I should just rhino line it or put, um, wood inside of it might be kind of cool too. So, uh, if you, yeah, let me know what you guys think of y'all think either way, do bed liner or do um, a wood floor, whichever you think would match better with the motif of the truck. So, and I made a cool spoiler out of some metal, got that all bent up and stuff. So I'll have to uh, sand that down a little bit with it. So I think it's cool, kind of sporty and fun. Um, not sure what color I'm gonna paint that either yet. Um, so I'm pretty sure on a bumper. I think a bumper, I'm just going to go with some square metal or something. So, yeah. Check out the other side. Well, so, yeah, that's what we're doing. So I'll update you when I get more done.